Last Channel Cat Chaser coming at you. Hey, uh, you guys remember my Glock 43 <coughs> with the <coughs> jack ammo <coughs> with the jack hack <coughs> uh, sticky holster. Now, I like this holster and everything. It's, it's pretty good for pocket carry, I guess. You can still stick it in your waistband as well. But, uh, I wanted to try something different. And as you see, the gun is unloaded. Unloaded. There's nothing in the chamber. You can see down there, there's nothing in the chamber. But it is unloaded. But I wanted to try something different. I like the sticky holster and everything. But, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's comfortable. I just wanted to try something different. So this is what I ended up getting. I picked this up today. Uh, this is a crossbreed mini tuck. Now this is not to be confused with what what uh, Metham does. He tucks his mini. Metham tucks his mini between his legs. <laughs> and then, because he is kind of crossbred. I don't, I don't know that fucking Metham, man. <laughs> but anyway, this is a mini tuck. Crossbreed mini tech inside the waistband holster. You guys have probably seen these. This is the right handed version, Glock 43. And a salesman of mine had one of these. And I looked at it and I was pretty impressed with it. Now I got an alien gear for my 19, 19. But I don't carry the 19 as much anymore. Actually, I don't carry a whole hell of a lot anymore like I should. Big Johnson's going to get on my ass about that. But here it is. It's a crossbreed mini tuck. And I personally do not like full Kydex holsters. They just don't feel as comfortable to me as something like this. Now, this is all leather. And uh, fairly nice quality stuff. Powder coated steel belt clips. Uh, Kydex and feels pretty good. But uh, let's see here. Let's see if it's got that positive click that Big Johnson goes after. Well, you know, it's going to be a little bit different. Oh, baby. It's perfect retention. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it is, gonna, it is going to dis distribute the weight a little better, I would think. And it's still pretty, you can see the size of my hand. I got big hands. <sighs> like big, big Johnson. But anyway, you can see, I mean, it's a pretty small, compact package, you know. Put this in my hand here. I mean, you can still see my hand. So it's not a very big holster. So I'm hoping it's it's going to be more pretty comfortable to pack around. But like I said, I don't. My line of work does not allow me to carry concealed every day. I, I carry a pistol with me at all times in my truck, but I do not carry per on me personally due to my work. So, that being said, uh, I think this is going to work out really nice. It's got the, I think they call it the combat cut. Is that what it's called? Where you, can, you know, your finger shouldn't, doesn't get in there when you grab it. I don't know. I don't know uh, if any of you guys got one of these crossbreed holsters. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, I do like my Alien Gear. It's super comfortable, but the 19 is just kind of heavy to carry, and that's why I went with the 43. But I don't know. So far, I'm so good. Like I said, I just picked this up today. The price. The price was. Uh, 
$70.19 out the door. It is a little bit cashy. I mean, I know you can get them Kydex, full Kydex holsters for a lot less, but like I said, I, I'm not crazy about the full Kydex holster. Uh, I, they just wear on me for some reason. I don't, I don't know. But uh, if you guys got any uh, experience with one of these, let me know in the comments. But other than that, uh, Metham, don't be going in the closet tucking your mini tonight, you, you crossbreed. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Dirt Road, don't you be sticking me in none of your roast videos anymore either. God dang it. <laughs> but I don't buy Nintendos. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Keep on subscribing. You guys... We'll catch you next time. Channel Cat, out.